Okay, so this is the tree that I have adopted. It's a type of pine tree. You can see the pine cones here on the pavement. So I'd say it's about 20 years old. That's my guess. And I have noticed this tree through the seasons. It's just rained here in Mount Storm. So it's quite lovely in the winter with the snow on it, on its branches. And I have Okay, so just another view here. I've just identified this pine tree as a red pine. And these used to be trees that were logged uh, quite frequently. So they, they definitely match up in the guide with these short tufted needles. And I'll show you what the pine cones look like. Here's one. So they're just little things. I'm just going to leave it there. And they're scattered about the pavement here. And I'll show you what the field guide says when we get inside. Or maybe I'll bring the guide out here. And another characteristic is the bark, which is uh, very flaky in consistency, as you can see, scaly rather. So, and it just rained, so it's moist still. But looking up, you can see the loose bark there, kind of papery, and shedding even. So another characteristic of the red pine. So bark ID is very important to note when you're trying to identify a tree. So I'm just going to pan up, up, up and away. It's quite a beautiful tree actually. So they can be from 50 to 80 feet tall and I'm guessing this is about 30, so it's not full grown. Just give you another view here of the needles. So, there's my adopted tree here in Mount Storm. So here's the field guide I use to identify my trees. This is the Sibley Guide to Trees by David Allen Sibley. And he put this together in 2000, 2009. Here's the uh, map ranges key. And so I found my adopted tree on page 28. So I'll flip there now. <clears throat> okay, so here it is, and it is the red pine. So you can see the beautiful paintings that he drew of the bark, and the bark is the the um, trunk of my adopted tree is actually in between. I think these two diameters. Somewhere you can easily see the peely bark, especially on the branches. And sorry about the glare. Um, then here you can see the short, stout needle bunches and the pine cones that I showed you outside. The needles, the shape of the tree, which is similar. <clears throat> Mine isn't full grown yet. The uh, the b base here, the bottom isn't as, as tall, as lengthy. And there's the map ra range. That was one of the giveaways that I knew that it was the red pine. 
So there you have it. The Red Pine Field Guide Entry.